Right, because of our time limit, we join this match in progress. And Rick Stewart, we talk about the promoters, Bob Geigel and all the good folks here in the Midwest, bringing in some of the top talent around. And I think in wrestling, too, and Nature Boy, Rick Blair, you have two of the best at their particular craft. And hats off to them for putting this kind of match on television. We're responding. The people write letters, and they make telephone calls, and we appreciate their comments. And this match is a result of that. The, the, the special significance of this match, not only is it a, a sold-out auditorium and a match between two of the greats in pro wrestling, but the winner of this match between two and Flair gets a World Heavyweight Championship match the next time the world's title is defended in Kansas City. And both of these wrestlers want a shot at Harley Race's world title. Coming up next week on All-Star Wrestling, we will get a look at Harley Race as he defends his world title against Ted DiBiase. Look at that wrestling, too, and that million-dollar knee lift. And the crowd's going berserk. That's what they came to see. And he's got the former world heavyweight champion literally begging for mercy in the corner. Unbelievable. Rick Flair, I never thought I'd see it. He is begging wrestling two for mercy. What and he is in trouble. Next week on TV, you'll see King Kong, Bruiser Brody, Paul Orndorff, Ron Ritchie, Kamala the Ugandan Giant in action. Plus, as you said, a world's title match on TV. Nature boy, Rick Flair. He's a former world champion. Lost the title to Harley Race. Flair. Has tried to get it back. Oh, look at that. Trying to set Mr. Wrestling number two for the pile driver. Two locked his legs. A high backdrop on Rick Flair. And both men are starting to show the strain of this match at this point, Kevin. You have two veritable superstars. And Rick Flair goes to one knee. He has taken quite a beating. Flair, that arrogant howl, steps back, sets his man for the elbow smash. He hooks the far leg. And only a count of two, but he came real close. And Rick Flair desperately wants another shot at Harley Race. You only get so many shots in a career. He realizes a win here on All-Star Wrestling could catapult him to another world's heavyweight wrestling title. Flair the count is two. Dropping that 240 pounds down on the forehead of Mr. Wrestling number two. Two has come as close as any man to being the first mass wrestler ever to win the world's title. Against Harley Race in the early 1970s in Atlanta, he almost took the title. Several champions, including Ric Flair, have come very, very close to losing that 10 pounds of gold to this masked man. You know, Ric Flair, many people said that he was getting a bit fat, that maybe the lifestyle of being a world champion caught up with him. Well, he went back to the gym. He has been in the gym on a regular basis, but look at this. Here comes wrestling two. Back count is one, two. Back oh, from almost two, and we almost saw a winner in the oh, two. A short chopping knee lift to the to the face of nature boy Ric Flair and Flair, his eyes are crossed and he's in trouble inside that ring. Two's not letting him up for a minute though. But here comes Ric Flair right back. These are two men who are wrestling like desperate people. So they both want a shot at Harley Race. Who will get it? And the crowd picking up the chant, two, two. And two unloads on the nature boy, driving Ric Flair to the canvas and Ric Flair is hurt. Wait a minute. Dragging wrestling two after him outside the ring. At first into that ring post. And that is a steel ring post. There is no canvas, no covering. It is solid as steel because it is. And wrestling two being counted.